Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, I'm showing you the best street art in Paris. You know what I say, whatever you do, do it fabulously. So why don't you come and join me on Travelling Fabulously. Bonjour, today on Travelling Fabulously, I'm showing you the best street art in Paris. Yep, I'm being joined by Lenny. Lenny? Lenny? Lenny, do you know where the best street art in Paris is? So Lenny and I are going to show you where to find the best street art in Paris. Paris is a great city to explore street art. There are so many great artists from around the world that call the city home or take residency here regularly. In this video, I'm showing you some of my favourites for 2019 and where you can find them. First stop, Passage de Gervilliers. One artist, Flash Invader, even has his own app and game that you can play to search out the fabulous mosaics around Paris and even the world. For each one you flash on the app, you get points and you rise up the ladder. So you can spend weeks, months or just a couple of days finding Flash Invaders all around Paris. On the corner of Rue de Tompe and Rue Michel Le Comte, Lenny and I stumbled upon a new piece created by Daniel van der Noon and the Street Society. It celebrates buildings of importance both in Paris and around the world to the gay and lesbian community. There are also fabulous murals all around the city for you to see. What do you think of that, Lenny? No matter where you go in Paris, you can see great street art. Whilst walking Lenny, sometimes even at the bottom of your feet. Le Movement is all around Paris with their bright coloured umbrellas. There's even a gay Tintin, and right across the road from it, a garden wall that becomes more and more art than garden every year as it grows. Rue Aubercamp has some of the best street art in Paris, and the Mur, Le Mur, Le Mur, as it is pronounced, or the wall, regularly changes its artwork on Rue Aubercamp. The third and fourth arrondissements are some of my favourite for great street art. Recently, this Banksy was stolen from its spot on Rue Rambito. This is not unusual apparently for a Banksy, being stolen that is. I wonder if it really did get stolen or whether or not the mouse just got caught in a trap. Some artists like In Love 
just try to spread love all over Paris. A blank canvas isn't that hard to find in Paris, apparently. Seth Glow Painter has taken over the Belleville Park and made it into a dreamlike space. This is where you see imagination at its most creative and possibly some of the best street art in Paris, in my opinion. YouTube says you should watch this video next. Lenny, hello. Lenny, are you interested? Apparently not. Great, but whatever you do, hit the subscribe button just here so you can subscribe to Fabulousness. That's what Lenny wants you to do. He wants you to subscribe to Fabulousness and watch me next week. 